So now let's see how we can work around with clipping mask inside of Adobe Character Animator. So over here you can see that I got a few layers and now in order to work around with clipping mask, let us understand this one right here. So the layers are in a certain hierarchy right here. So let's just go ahead and select layer three, that is this layer. So right now what happens is that you can see that the layer is visible, it's on top of these two layers right here, but behind all of these. But if I were to go over here on to, let's say for example, Puppet, and then click on Create Clipping Mask, let's see what happens. Once I do that, this seems to disappear. This particular shape seems to disappear. But if I were to go over here, you can see that it appears here because this is the layer two. It's a layer beneath layer three, as you can see. So if I were to click on this, it does not appear in any other layers, but over here you can see that it, it appears here. So you want to create a certain effect like this, then you can use clipping mask as you can see right there. You can do this with multiple layers. I can go around over here and let's say I can create clipping mask out of it. You can see that it pops up right there. I can go around over here and create clipping mask over there and it pops up right there. And to release the clipping mask, you simply select the object that you want to release the clipping mask from and then you go around into Puppet and click on Release Clipping Mask. You can do the same with the other object that, uh, that may be there. So you can see this one right here. You simply go around into Puppet and Release Clipping Mask. So that is how you can create and work with clipping mask inside of Adobe Character Animator. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.